Now you ain't looking at some dude that was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And I might seem like some kind of low life to that highfalutin crowd. But I'm plain spoken, straight talking, and damn proud of what I have accomplished. Okay, guys, out here working on the camper. Um, gonna work on this part right here, um, underneath the the hitch, or I guess behind the hitch here. I got my two doors. Um, I've already got the aluminum diamond plate installed. Um, the white ain't gonna work, so um, I've got me an idea to uh, turn these doors um, black. I'm actually gonna paint the doors black and then uh, add an accent to them. Um, I'll show you as I go here. Uh, first things first, I gotta get them out and then uh, start disassembling them. Um, disassembly, all that's gonna be is uh, taking the little, um, little handles and locks off them. So I'm gonna get that done and I'll be back with you. Okay, so I got these doors all uh, <clears throat> prepped for paint. Um, took the latches out, scuffed down where I'm painting, um, cleaned them up. Um, you've seen them before, they were a mess. Um, they're ready to go now except for being blown off. Um, I don't know if it'll pick it up on the uh, camera or not, but this door's got some damage. Uh, when they shipped me these doors, uh, this one took a beat and there's some more damage over there, but um, that's kind of why I'm kind of taking this approach to these doors. Um, I'm actually going to uh, paint these doors uh, black, um, at least the outside anyway, and then I'm going to put a uh, diamond plate insert um, on the front side of these. Uh, that's going to hide the damage on this uh, this door here. This door here is pretty good. But uh, this is something I want to try. I might do it on the other doors. Um, I might not, depending on how this goes. Um, I uh, have the... I have the cutouts that um, I cut out from here. I, I tried to do the best job I could. And... Uh, not ruin this so I, I have these pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to trim them up and I'm going to try to get them on top of here and overlay them so Okay, so I'm making my, my insert for my door. Um, I'm using the piece that I actually cut um, the door out of. So I'm not really wasting anything right here. Um, I was careful enough to try to go as, on the outside as much as I could. Um, I got a little kind of a wacky cut here. But according to my measurements, I should have enough... Uh, diamond plate to do what I need to do um, so first thing there's no square edges so I had to make a square edge over here or a straight edge from that straight edge I measure out what I need that's 34 inches um, I make another straight cut uh, my next deal is I got to make a straight edge either here or here uh, making sure that I have enough to, to do um, what I need to do so basically I got to start here and make my straight edge because that's the smallest amount I have is there to there so once I get that straight edge I can measure from there up and I should have a square um, insert uh, for the door and then I'll have to round my edges which that should be the easiest part um, so I'm going to square this edge. I'm just using a straight edge. And on this thing here, um, it is diamond plate. 
So you kind of get a little bit of a reference. You can reference the diamond pattern um, and get a, um, a straight edge that way. So I'm going to finish this up. And uh, once I know this fits, I'll just make another copy. Uh, I've got the other deal here ready to go. Okay, so there's my uh, insert uh, with the uh, rounded edges. Um, how did I get them? Well, I just took a roll of tape here and uh, masked off uh, or marked off my line there. And then I took my air nibbler and uh, just kind of cut it out. Pretty simple. Um, again, using this air nibbler to do my uh, shapes. And then uh, using the shear here for the long straight, uh, the straight edges. So uh, once I get this thing fitted, the, the paint dry on the uh, door, I get this one fitted and I know it fits. I'll take this, use it as a pattern so I don't have to uh, do so much measuring. And uh, I'll have two of them. Okay, so the paint's dry on the doors here. I got my panel up on the door here. Um, kind of doing my final little tweaking and trimming um, to get it uh, fitting good. Um, I have baggage door handles here that I got to find the hole for. So what I've done is I've set my panel. I set my panel in place. Um, I went underneath. Um, I've got the holes marked now. Um, I think I'm just going to do an inch and a quarter hole um, which will open it up uh, bigger than this hole um, and you know it's black no one will see that I don't think um, and you can see it's um, not it's not it's not a circle and it's not square so it'd be pretty hard for me to make that shape so like I said I think I'm just going to go with an inch and a quarter hole um, and that'll leave enough room for the lock and everything and uh, I think that'll work out the best so I've got my holes marked and I'm gonna get my hole saw out and uh, um, get them holes drilled Okay, so I got both inserts done. They were not exactly the same, so they took some uh, uh, minor tweaking here and there to make them uh, fit just right. But uh, I'm happy with them now, so um, I th believe I'm going to stick them down with some uh, 3M double-sided tape. Uh, they don't weigh hardly anything, so I think that's all um, I'm going to need to hold them down. So I got to find some of that and then uh, I'll be sticking these down. Okay, so both doors are now complete. Um, looking awesome. 
Now I get to uh, install these for the final time. Um, I've got to put a little bit of my tape, uh, butyl tape around the edges there and then uh, screw them in. There's holes on the side here um, that are they're screwed in there. Okay, so I just got my butyl tape all the way around the uh, inside edge of the door here. Um, I just bought rolls of it here. Um, I believe that's three quarter inch thick um, by eighth inch, I think. 30 foot rolls. Uh, just bought a bunch of that stuff. So um, got my door ready to go back on. I'm going to put it back up there. Um, just squeeze it on and, and screw it on there. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the mounting points for these. Um, See there's a hole there, hole there, and a hole there. There's four on the bottom, um, two on the top side. Hopefully you can see that. So that's how these are mounted on. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to even use all of them. But uh, um, the, the Putty is starting to squish out in some areas. You can see I got to trim that off. And uh, thinking back now, probably should have uh, used black putty. I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if they have the black putty. But uh, um, I was thinking about running around all the doors with some uh, black silicone anyway. So, um, we'll see. Uh, but there it is. There's the finished product. Um, I can do a flashback, uh, see what I started with. Um, yeah, I think you're going to agree. This is a much better look. I think it turned out awesome. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm really loving this diamond plate, guys. I think it really, really adds a nice, uh, really going to add a nice touch to this camper. Um, okay, so I could have just uh, painted the doors black and I think it would have looked uh, okay. Um, a little more work um, putting the, the diamond plate insert in, uh, but I think it looks awesome. Uh, well worth the effort. Um, this really gets me excited about the rest of the camper um, seeing this. Um, I haven't been able to do much finish work. Um, to uh, you know the details of what it's gonna um, look like when it's done. I've kind of been doing this and that, this and that, kind of putting the putting different pieces of the puzzle together um, under here. Finally, um, I got to finish something, and um, I love it. Uh, it's done except for um, a piece of trim up here. It's got to go up there, uh, but other than that, uh, this part uh, is done. So. Uh, pretty excited um, to uh, continue on and get other things finished. Um, so that's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.